Hello there. I'm going to talk about seasonal relationship and why it's mindful to be self-aware of the types of relationships that you encounter or are involved in. They could be in family or it could be friendships or as people you collaborate with or end up like working with as well. Why it's so important is that you don't end up being disappointed about these seasonal um, relationships. So there are three types of relationships and I'm going to add the last one. The first one, it's an analogy basically based on um, Tyler Perley, and I can never pronounce him correctly, <laughs> but you get what I mean. And uh, the film director, we all know him, right? Okay, so the first one, uh, it's the analogy is based on a tree. And so the first one is called um, leaf people. So leaf people are basically people, just as the analogy is a leaf people, when the wind blows, they will be gone. So they're people that you actually can't rely on or put all your faith and trust in. Reason being is that they only come in your life for a reason and for a season. So it may surprise you and um, you, you just think, okay, they were here, they've taken something from me, now what? And you may feel empty sometimes. But the ethos is don't blame them, don't be angry, just understand the people that come into your life. Some of them are not intended to stay and for the leaf people, they really can't manage anything that has to do with um, emotional uh, emotional turbulence or change in seasons. So they'll meet you at your happiest, but when the little storm starts to hit, they will be gone away with the leaves. Then the second type of people are the branch people. So the branch people are a little bit stronger, okay? So they will stick around for a season or two. The reason they'll stick around is they may have met you in the spring or the summer and then when the fall hits they will be there just um, assessing things. Then winter, winter may be too dark for them. You know, fall might just be a tester of what your relationship is, but winter is a dark period where they may not actually uh, be ready to manage uh, a heavy load of emotions. So when that challenge hits like the storm they will be gone as well again don't dislike these people and uh, don't be angry at them just accept that these people who come into your life are there only um, as an, a seasonal thing and they're bound to leave your life and take the lessons from them as well so my experience, for example, would be experiencing loss. And I noticed that through the season, some people came and some people left. So before that, I would have been happy, I would have been elated. But when loss affected me, some people were only there for those happy seasons. And then when the storm hit, they really didn't know how to relate or associate with me. And yes, it can be dis uh, disappointing, it can be upsetting, but one of the main biggest lessons I learned was that probably it was a great thing that these people left my life because then I knew who would be my stronghold. So this is where I'm going to move on to is the, is the root people. So the root people are brilliant. So if you can get these people into your life, or you come across them, they're hard to come across, but once you've encountered them and you develop a friendship, these are the type of people that they're invisible to others, like the roots, yes, so they will be there helping you through all the seasons, so the spring, the summer, fall, winter, and then we'll be back again. So these people, their intended purpose is to be there to support you. They will nourish you, feed you, replenish you, and water you, just as they would with um, with roots, um, with trees and uh, branches, everything, to make sure that you're okay. So these type of relationships are like-minded individuals. So the relationships that I've mentioned, the fourth one, is people who come into your life as um, a development stage. So these people will come come in different seasons and they'll just test things out a little bit and these people can transition into other seasons so they could potentially become your leaf people your branch people or your root people but this will the friendships will be tested as the seasons pass along 
why it's so essential to notice this is that it's also about you how do you interact with others so if you are giving and giving and giving what impact does this have on you in terms of like emotional turmoil yeah so if you're giving and people are leaving and you don't know why it's also like worth assessing and now if you're a type a type of person like i used to be strongly it's also thinking about okay is it okay to be vulnerable and to seek help from people who might be like rude people they will be your anchor and there'll be people who will stick around and support you when you need the most because each and every one of us needs some form of relationship so it's just being able to assess in terms of the types of friendships um, working relationships or collaborations who will really be there by looking at their personalities and the characteristics and also viewing from your own um, perspective that if you're generally affected um, by certain friendships is to reevaluate and assess them and vice versa to think about how people think about you as well. So I hope this session has been very meaningful and if it has, do feel free to comment below. Also share with friends, family, anybody you feel like um, this video might benefit as well. Okay, bye for me for now. And you know what? One of the most important things I didn't do is introduce myself. So my name is Chico and thank you for joining me. And I usually help people um, discover their reason why and purpose in life. Bye for now.